Duduk ski ni bantu dia Lepas di take ice lah, tambah gula Take ice kosong Ah, But you do know that If you say take ice kosong right There's still some sugar that, inside No, take o ice no. Oh, take o ice kosong uh, that so okay yeah. Because that milk has some that, form of sugar, sugar inside yeah. Losing weight tips from a fat dude <laughs> Doesn't really work lah, I guess Welcome back to another episode of We don't have a name for this show yet Which we will never have Thank God, uh, my co-host has finally remembered the name of this show. Yes, finally. Last, last round was eh, but short form was how again? How you say it fast, like? But don't. Correct, what? Anyways, uh, sorry, we've been away for like what two weeks? Huh? Two weeks, uh. Two weeks, right? Two weeks, right? I think it's two weeks, right? Yeah, yeah, we've been away for two weeks. It's not New Year yet, so we have not done our New Year resolution. Yes. But I think our New Year resolution for next year would be to release a shoe re- review video every week. I guess. Anyways, uh. <laughs> This is our new shoe that we are doing. This Boom! Week, obviously, it's by Puma. It's very obvious. And uh, I am exceptionally excited for this because Why? I personally feel Puma has not released something nice, which uh. is to my liking in a long time. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right? Puma, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. But uh, I only like a few, very, very few silhouettes. I think suede is like something which can never die. Bring back the Blaze of Glory, man. Yeah. So what other shoes do you like from Puma? <coughs> Blaze, Blaze of, of Glory. Glory is definitely... Uh, R698. R698. And then the Dis. The Dis. The Dis. Yeah. I like the Dis. Uh, it's very futuristic for its time. I think they're not focusing on that anymore. Yeah, enough the weekend, man. <laughs> <laughs> really that bad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think his shoe didn't really hit well. It's high cut number one. I think majority of people nowadays are into low cuts. Hence why Yeezys are doing so well. Even after releasing for don't know how many thousand times with yeah. a different colorway, but people still like it. Well, this one is... Yeah, I like this. Wow. It's the Puma Vintage. Cell Venom. It comes with Puma, White Surf and Wet, wet Blue. Wet blue. Back blue. Uh. That is the colorway. If I'm not mistaken, this is a retro pair from 20 years ago. Yes, 1998. But the cell technology was released in 1997, if I'm not mistaken. 1997? Uh, really? Yeah, 1997. Facts. Yeah. So, and then this came out a year after that. And uh, it was very close to uh, another shoe brand that does bubbles. Ah, uh, yes. Very closely. I thought it was another pair of other brand <laughs> you can mention lah i think uh. <laughs> it really looks like a air bubble here from an mx it looks like an mx collection it looks like mx 270 yeah uh but the difference here between uh, an mx and a cell which is the technology being used here you can see there's a cell branding here yeah and so there's a cell branding on the tongue and cell is basically this at the bottom it's a uh, sort of like a bubble that is made out of Honeycomb. It has a hexagonal Hexago- pattern. Yeah, honey- ha- honey- the honeycomb kind yeah. of pattern. La. Basically, the technology is pretty much the same. It's just the execution is different from an MX. Yeah. Um, let's imagine a bubble and then MX. Imagine the MX1, right? For yeah. example, they have a bubble exactly. and then they have like pillars in between. Mm, yeah. Right? And that is the whole MX bubble, right? But yeah. this one is different. It's a big bubble and then they put the hexagon inside, uh, right. inside. So when you press, there is a bit more support uh, via the hexagon shapes. It has definitely a vintage look because they are using like the mesh upper. The whole upper is almost all mesh. Yep. Even the suede that they're using is like the old time suede. I'm not sure you can tell the difference because like new time, let's say you see the rookie of the year, right? That suede is like when you brush, it's just like changes color, mm-hmm. the shade and stuff. This mm-hmm. one is just like rough yep. hardcore you know like old Back times the, yeah really old school yeah, you know how your parents say or oh, they worked very hard last time yeah just like the suede like that color is not bad it's nice it fits the the vintage look lah if you are looking for that if you are more into the bundle scene or you are like how why would you look, say a bundle scene because we mean, always collect the vintage shoes. No, okay, so right now, right, what I think is everyone's going back to that 90s retro look, the 80s mm. kind of feel. They bong balik. Right, the, the really throwback kau, uh, kau kau one, right? And then they are all into the dad shoe vibes. What What is that shoe? That shoe is basically what your dad would wear, which is basically yeah. what my dad would wear is this. And they kept it as real as possible. I honestly think I prefer this over Thunder Spectra because Thunder Spectra, <clears throat> 
yes, it looks like a dad shoe, but they still modify it to look. Lifestyle. Yes, it's very lifestyle. It still looks very modern, very futuristic, and it's done on purpose. They probably went to the archive and what looks like a dad shoe, and that looks nice, and they just okay, let's bring this back, and they didn't really add any extra stuff. It really yeah. looks as ori- original as possible from the 90s. Yeah, it looks, it looks very close. Yeah, it's, to even the materials, before, the materials is as bad as it gets. When I opened the box, uh, when, when Puma gifted this pair to yeah, us. Yeah, one pair only. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Puma. Yeah. Uh, Shout out Puma. Thanks for the pair, but hopefully US next time you can give it uh, US 10 also. Yeah, so that I can open the box and also like... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> when I opened it, I was literally excited because Puma has not done that in a long long time I mean just bring in something back and not trying to disturb it just being original as possible so the uh, price of this shoe is 545 ringgit yes and uh, it, it's already available in stores uh, crossover JD Sport Savi Pyramid so what don't have oh, too bad. Uh, Pavilion and basically Puma select stores uh. but the real question here is what's your rating on this pair Ooh, we have come to that point again. Yes. Okay la, if you say based on vintage look and all, okay, then 7.5 out of 10. But you tell me like about like the soul and all, then maybe like 5. So like overall maybe a 6. Have you tried it? Like have you worn it? Not my size. Puma never said. <laughs> okay, so so I, I I have actually worn it. Okay. Uh, I've already walked in it for a while. The back part here right, has a bit of that feeling when you wear a Vapor Max. I think the easiest way to explain it, la, right? Vapor Max. When you wear a Vapor Max. So when you put all your weight on that back part, the back portion, right? Mm, then yeah. the bubble sinks in a bit, mm. right? But for Vapor Max, right, you can literally see your entire bubble like squash. Uh, Vapor Max. For my weight, la, of course. Uh. But for me, uh, when I wore this and then I did that, that test, it did bend a bit. So it, <laughs> yeah, a bit. So this this thing does uh, absorb some form of shock. Yeah, like, you know people step on cigarette or any paku yeah. strips. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, exactly. So I think this is way more durable. Personally, I think it's priced quite reasonably, slightly above five hundred. Yeah. But if you can do maybe about below five hundred would be better. Four fifty. Four fifty, I think it would be way better. Just besides the price point, like I would give this an eight. Oh, hi yeah. Personally, la. Okay guys, so if you have watched this whole video, you already probably know a lot about this shoe. Probably hear me asking for shoes many times. But then let us know what you think in the comments below. Whether it's on YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube lah. Oh, oh yeah, uh, by the way, there's not much info on this shoe on the net because this shoe is literally like plucked out from the archive. And uh, we, we have not seen a lot of uh, YouTube reviewers doing this shoe and also there's not much article written on this. Uh, so. I think the history and the background, uh, whatever we said earlier is from what Puma has told us or what we have gathered from uh, Man- va- various yeah. sources. So if you do know anything about the issue, get, do comment below um, yeah. so that we can learn something from you guys as well. Yeah. But thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Yeah, so comment, like, subscribe. So you have to do that. That's your signature. Comment, like, subscribe. And let us know what you think about the issue, whether you cop or drop. Or is there maybe you prefer the Endura or the Venom more? So typical. So yeah, but I, I choose the Venom. I choose the Venom. So typical sneaker, you go hide back the laces. <laughs> Have to lah. Clean lah.